So in the final portion of the demo here, we show off a little of our new sheet metal capability. And this is not the world's most glamorous sheet metal demo. It's just of taste. And I suggest you look at some of the other sheet metal demos that should be posted up here if you want to see a, f a bigger picture of what we can do with sheet metal. But we bring this part in from Autodesk Inventor. Um, and it comes in as what many people would call a dumb solid or a datum solid. And what we're going to do is we're going to immediately say, hey, actually, look at this and see if it looks like a sheet metal part to you. And Space Claim says, yeah, it does. And because it does, we'll give you this ability to unfold it. And here is your flat pattern with the rough sizes that you're going to need to, you know, to, of sheet metal you're going to need to um, make it. So we can do neat things like add a feature on here. Um, and here you can see with our new little sheet metal pool handles if you want to create a seam like this uh, you just go and do it and the flat pattern is updated immediately. Go ahead and close that for a second. And the other thing is that our little bracket here or adapter doesn't really uh, fit so we'll chop it out with the main casting there and you know by the way it's creating all these little fancy surfaces when we cut it like that but of course we can still come in and unfold it as you can see and here is the uh, the flat pattern for the version of this we want to use as our adapter so if you watch the other four portions of this demo you can see that we did some manufacturing we did this analysis use case and a drawing um, this is the, the summary, which is a big thing in a CAD demo. You know, you have to show all the different things that you did to remind everybody that your software is kind of cool. And even though Squiggy here, who's been doing the pics for me as I've been chatting, has the transmission upside down, uh, you can see that, um, you know, it, it was a lot of fun putting this together to model the whole thing as a team throughout the company to be getting changes from everyone and have things that didn't work and then have to get work th meaning that didn't fit together and then you know make the changes to make everything fit together so we could really have this model made that uh, was uh, never made in a CAD system before we think it was a lot of fun so um, anyhow thanks for watching these videos and you know post back or you know send send us a line if uh, you have any questions about any of the other things or uh, you have some broken parts in your VW transmission and uh, you, you know you'd like the real models.